Repent, My Prodigal Children, Word Given, September 26, 2022, by Bride of Yeshua, R.S. Transcript The day of my coming is near, but my children are not ready. Their care and concern for this world far exceeds me, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came in the flesh, their Lord and Savior, the Creator of all things in the universe. What is about to come upon the world is more terrible than any man can imagine. The hearts of men will fail from these terrible sights that they have never heard of and have never dared to imagine. Many souls will fall into the pit of hell to spend their eternity in a fire that will never be extinguished and in the torment of worms that will never die. It breaks my heart to watch those I have created in my image and likeliness fall one after another into the deep pit of burning fiery fire. While they were still living on the earth, I have touched their hearts again and again and sent my messengers to warn them again and again, hoping to awaken them from their slumber hoping to pull them back to my narrow path from the broad road on which they were so happy to walk. But they have hardened their hearts, rejected my love, and defiled their bodies. They have succumbed to whatever that the system of the beast used to control them to destroy their bodies and souls. O oh, my children on earth, your time is running out. If your hardened hearts cannot be softened by the love that I have given my life, shed my blood for you to redeem you, then I will have to leave you to it. There are those who cannot return from the darkness anymore. The deep pit of hell and eternal torment are their destination. There are those whom I will give their flesh to Satan, but their souls will be saved. Repent, my prodigal children. Come back to the Father who loves you. I am waiting day and night at the crossroads for your return from the world where you have been taken captive to my open arms so that I may put a ring on your finger, dress you in fine clothes, and celebrate your return with a feast. The day of my coming is near. How many of you have washed your clothes with the blood of the Lamb? Put your house in order prepared yourselves physically, especially spiritually, in obedience to the guidance of my Holy Spirit. You overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of your testimony, and do not love your lives unto the death. The coming persecution of my people will be unprecedented. Are you ready? Will you give your lives for the sake of my name? When the enemy is tormenting your loved ones right before your eyes, will you remain steadfast in your faith and die rather than deny my name, Jesus Christ, which is above every name? When your children and your loved ones are starving, will you unservingly refuse to accept the mark of the beast, which can make you get tiny little food and buy only the most basic needs of you and your loved ones, but with which will destroy your souls for eternity? to make you burn forever with the devil and his angels in the lake of fiery brimstone fire, even at the cost of your lives? My children, you must know that blessed are those who do this, and that your reward in heaven is great. I will say to all people and to all children who are willing to do this, do not fear the evil one who can only kill your bodies, but cannot do anything to your souls. But fear the Lord God Most High, who can throw both your bodies and your souls into hell. At the moment you make the decision to give your lives for my name's sake, I am there with you to give you strength. And the moment that the instrument of the enemy uses to kill you and touches your body, your souls are with me, your Lord and Savior, forever. Those children whom I have allowed to endure the torment of the enemy for me. Do not be afraid. I will never make you endure what you cannot bear. I will control the torment of the enemy to the extent that you can endure. But your eyes must only look upon me alone, because I alone am your strength. I alone am your shelter, your shield around. Otherwise, you will be unable to endure and make decisions that you will regret forever. The end of all things is at hand. You must be sober, self-controlled, watch and pray, and love one another faithfully.
The year 2022 is closer to an end. The year to come will be a year in which the pattern of the world and everything in the world will be turned upside down. Wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, earthquakes, disasters, famines and pestilence everywhere. But it will also be a year in which my Holy Spirit will move powerfully on the earth through these successive judgments, disasters, and increasingly severe persecutions to wake souls up, to awaken my church, and to harvest souls into my barn. Rise up, my children. Your time to shine is coming. Get ready, my precious children. Your king is coming soon. I love you, my children. Get ready. King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus Christ. Please take all to the Lord in prayer for any and all needed confirmations. Thank you. God bless you and shalom.